Yo, what is going on, everybody? In, uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this awesome working fire truck. So what you do is you come to the side. Uh, oh, it's already turned off. But you flip the lever, and as you can see, it puts out the fire. Uh, and people have requested to make this tutorial, and I was thinking about doing this. So I figured, why not make this tutorial? So, yeah, and it is late at night, so... Um, but so that's, yeah, that's dedication for you guys. I'm not sleeping the, uh, put the tutorial for you guys, but anyway, uh, I wish you guys how to make this. So, uh, materials you're gonna need, there's no grid for this, this isn't like my city build tutorials, there's no grid, so, materials you're gonna need, you're gonna need block of quartz, quartz stairs, uh, splash water bottle, redstone dust, dispenser, um, quartz slab, and then red carpet. Now, you guys might be wondering, wait, but that doesn't look like all the materials for the fire truck, uh, and yeah, well, here's the thing, I'm not gonna actually show you guys how to make the fire truck, uh, you guys might be wondering, like, wait, as uh, a tutorial on how to make a work fire truck, you're not gonna show us how to make the fire truck? Yeah, basically, it's because you could put this on any fire truck you want, just as long as you can, like, connect redstone to this, like, to the side here, and connect redstone and stuff like that. As long as you can do that, you can put this on any fire truck you want, and if you do desperately want to make this fire truck, yeah, you can easily copy it. I mean, literally, like, this is five blocks long, you can tell, like, the lining of the vintage material, like, this fire truck's honestly really easy to copy down, so if you want to go ahead and make this fire truck, you can. I do not care. Be my guest. But, um, okay, so first thing we're going to do is, um, basically, hang on, let me actually open this up, because it's actually been a while since, uh, uh, oh. Okay, so it only, it's only on this side. Interesting. Alright, um, let me dig a little deeper in here. I've actually, I haven't, I haven't been into this in a while. Okay, alright, you guys can already see the, uh, okay. So you're, you're, you're gonna come to your fire truck, and you're gonna see we have the panel, right? Um, so, alright, so we have the lever, right? This is gonna be how we're gonna turn on and off the water supply. So basically, uh, so if you have a panel that's four blocks, like this, on the side of your fire truck, uh, and if you have the back of your fire truck is four blocks wide, this is going to be perfect for you. So just make sure you have a fire truck panel that's four blocks like this, and the back of your fire truck is four blocks wide, like this. And if you, as long as that's like that, then perfect. You can easily uh, do this. So okay, so you're going to come to the top right corner um, for where your lever is going to be. Uh, I recommend doing a lever instead of a button. It just makes it easier. Um, so yeah so basically what you want to do well i guess honestly i mean i guess you can do button or lever i guess but i prefer lever uh if you're gonna come so your top right corner here so you want to go ahead and dig this part out all right you're gonna dig a block dig out the block on top of it um uh, let's see let's go back here uh oh wait no actually no you're not gonna do that my bad yeah go ahead and repair that my bad okay so no you're not gonna dig the block on top of it okay so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut like dig a big make sure there's a big entire like hole in the back of your fire truck and this is of course as you can tell where the uh where our lever is right here right so you're gonna place a block where this is right and you're gonna put redstone as you can see if you can tell that is how we're gonna get that's the connection to where it's gonna connect to the hose and everything so which once you've gotten that down uh oops this ladder's in the way my goodness uh you actually want to put uh, two blocks behind it, so it's got like this little stair motion coming up here like this. Um, and then you basically want to connect the redstone all the way up to here uh, until it reaches the top like that. Um, or wait, hold up. Okay, actually, okay, okay. So you don't actually actually want to go up to here. You want to put the, you want want the redstone to go right like this. You guys can see what I'm doing here. I'll make it go right like that. Uh, and then make it go forward by one, alright, uh, and then you can actually, uh, put, um, carpet in the, oh, oops, you can't actually do that, okay, so you can actually, uh, so let's repair this, uh, alright, so once you've gotten that down, you can actually go ahead and put carpet on top of the first redstone, then put more carpet on top, and then you can just put carpet on top of that redstone, or can you? 
Yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah, you can. All right, good. Yeah, so you might be thinking that got disconnected, but as you can see, it did not. So don't you worry about that. All right, so once you've gotten uh, the connection from your lever outside of your fire truck, uh, you want to go ahead and make sure you have like a four block uh, space in the back of your fire truck. Uh, and then on the back of your four block space, you want to put stairs. Then you want to put block of quartz. Uh, and then you want to connect and you want to move the redstone on top of the block of quartz like this. All right. And the, the redstone uh, uh, is only going to go up to about one, two, three, four blocks high. So that's how we're going to do this. So you're going to make a uh, diagonal going up like that and then put two blocks. Uh, take two blocks and then extend it forward by one and then just keep extending the redstone going up um, so you want to do this about uh, depending yeah so basically go ahead and do this four more so basically go ahead and do this four more times like this so there's our all right and then here's the last time but this last one you actually want to go ahead and extend out by uh, by two instead of one uh, and then just extend the redstone all the way up to the top like this uh, and as you can see, um, you can see the redstone has still got power all the way to the top. And then if you want to kind of, uh, and then you can actually go ahead and put slab under this just so it looks a bit neater. Um, so yeah, you can go ahead and even like put slab under there if you want that to look neater. Um, yeah. So just go ahead and put slab under this um, whole thing if you want. Uh, oh, you can't put slab under there because of the carpet. Okay. But yeah, but basically, once you've done that, um, take your dispenser, put it at the end, and then um, go ahead and put all your materials away. Um, and then in both dispensers, go ahead and load up the... Yeah, go ahead and load up each dispenser with splash water bottle. So we'll go ahead and load up this one. And then we'll load up the other one as well. I guess I don't really... Yeah, we won't put 6-4 in either one of them. But, but yeah, guys. And then once you've loaded up the dispensers, that is basically it. That is how you make your fire truck working. Or how you make your fire truck shoot water. Uh, how to make your fire truck put out fire. Uh, I think that's what the title is. So basically, uh, to test that it works, you can flip the lever. And as you can see, um, it shoots out the water. So now your question is... My question is probably like, well, uh, how far back, how far in front of the, how far should the fire be from the fire truck? So basically, uh, let's grab our camp, well, that, that campfire is already took, taken out, but let's go ahead and grab ourselves, actually, let's grab the blue campfire, the soul campfire, which works on this campfire as well. Um, so basically, you want to come to the front of your fire truck, you want to go the two blocks in the middle, uh, and then you want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten blocks for your fire truck and on the tenth blocks you want to put the two campfire as you can see there and now when you uh reload your fire truck and shoot out boom the fire truck will put out the fire and there you go guys and also by the way this will work for flint and steel fire as well so like if we just write a light a regular fire so not just like a campfire but just like a a regular fire uh it will put that out as well so like, you know, if we want to reload this and then shoot it, boom, as you can see, it puts out the fire, even if it's a regular fire. So it can do campfire or regular fire. Um, but yeah, guys, that is it uh, for the tutorial. That is how you make your fire truck put out fire. Um, this is a pretty cool, pretty cool uh, little build here. Uh, but like, so like I said, you can put this on any fire truck as long as, like I said, it has the back that is four blocks wide um four blocks wide uh it has a four block panel like this and um yeah and i think that's basically it so um oh yeah and then you can actually go ahead and fill this up uh so that is not exposed all right and there you go um so really awesome build um but anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i uh, hope this helped you out uh, and if you did and if it did smash a like and subscribe turn on notifications um subscribe to my other channels and yeah i'll see you guys next time peace out